COVID cases in Madison County continue to decline. But here at Jackson Madison County General Hospital, they're still seeing a large number of patients and experiencing severe staffing issues. We were getting about 71 new cases a day. Well, our new seven day average is about 33.8 cases a day. Although cases continue to decline, Amy Garner, the spokesperson for West Tennessee Healthcare, says that the surge is far from over. Even though our active cases are going down, we still have patients that are lingering in the hospital for months at a time because this illness is so severe. Deaths and hospitalizations lag behind the new case numbers and that's exactly where we find ourselves right now. We're seeing an increased number of deaths in our hospitals. On Friday, the hospital reported a record 11 deaths, all within a 24-hour period. There are 93 active COVID cases in the Jackson-Madison County General Hospital. The hospital is also seeing an additional 65 patients that are no longer COVID positive, but remain hospitalized due to COVID complications. Garner says that the biggest problem that the hospital is facing is a shortage of staff. We currently have over 800 vacant positions in our system. And so if you are needing a job, please visit our WTH.org website. We have um, jobs in almost every area. We need all the help we can get currently. The hospital has received help from the National Guard and the National Disaster Medical System to cover for their low staffing. Local officials and healthcare workers hope to see cases continue to drop and vaccinations continue to rise. For 39 News, I'm Alexander Bitterling in Jackson.